you guys welcome back to my channel i sat down to film this video and miss thing got hungry so she's eating right now but the show will continue because i don't know if i'll get a chance to <laughs> record again later today or not so now that it's officially been over a month of me being a mom literally tomorrow is going to be six weeks which is crazy can't believe she's almost already six weeks old um i told you guys to ask me some questions uh, related to postpartum or new mom and so that's what I'm filming today we're going to answer some of your questions and you guys asked a lot of questions so I'm probably not going to get to all of them I'm actually not going to get to all of them but we're going to jump right in first one was was newborn life what you expected it to be and yes I guess I don't really know if I had any expectations I just kind of left that open to be whatever it was going to be but yeah, newborn life. I love being a mom. Obviously, it's like my favorite thing in the world. I guess I did kind of expect to have a little longer break between feedings. And obviously, this just is, you know, different with every baby. Some babies can go four hours in between feedings. Some can go one hour in between feedings. We were going three hours in between feedings, but she wasn't gaining enough weight at her first appointment. So... I had to bump that closer to two hours and then sometimes I would stretch it to two and a half depending on how if I could get away with it but there's just not a lot of time in between two hours of feeding your newborn and trying to get stuff done so that was a little bit harder but we're getting better she's starting to get longer stretches in especially at night she's getting about five hour a good five hour stretch at each night which is amazing and she's doing so well but yes I love being a mom I love having a newborn and this is this is the life that I was supposed to live you know next question is what have you experienced in body changes with being one month postpartum um a lot is different <laughs> a lot is different but like a lot has been like going back to the same obviously the boobies are bigger because they're producing milk which is not very comfortable I don't love that um I obviously want that to be the case so I can provide, you know, nutrients and meals for my daughter. But also like, there's a lot more loose skin. Like my stomach has loose skin and it like hangs. Obviously I still haven't lost all my pregnancy weight. I think my in my pregnancy I gained almost 60 pounds. I don't really know exactly what I weighed before I got pregnant, but just going from a ballpark, I think I gained about 60 pounds during pregnancy. And at my six week postpartum appointment last week, I think I had lost maybe 25 or 30, I can't remember. I think I had lost 30, if I, the math is mathing. But yeah, so obviously I still have a ton of weight left to lose to get back to pre-pregnancy and I might not ever get back to pre-pregnancy, but that's okay. I still obviously am going to like start working out again, eating healthy and just doing my best to get my body to where I feel comfortable with it. Um, but I'm not in a rush, honestly. Like, it took me 10 months to gain the 60 pounds, so it's not gonna just be, you know, six weeks that it all falls off, especially the way that I've been eating, so yeah. <laughs> Next question is, how have your dogs been around Brecklin Drew? And if you're new and haven't watched any of my videos, that's her name, Miss Brecklin Drew. And the dogs have been amazing. They were kind of very timid at first, like they wanted to, like smell her and know what she was all about, but they didn't really want to get too close. But now they like love her. Honey's always going up and like licking her face and stuff. Granger's licking her feet. Like he always, when I'm holding her, he'll just come up and like lick the bottom of her feet. Granger never really slept on my side of the bed at night. Previously, he'd always sleep on Jared's side. But now since she is sleeping over here, like he's over here more and it's just funny to see. But no, the dogs are doing great and they really love her. This one says, at what point in pregnancy did you start your baby prep? Like sharing the registry and putting together the nursery. Um, <laughs> I started like a registry and stuff, probably like at 20-ish weeks, give or take a few weeks. And then starting the nursery, <laughs> we kind of procrastinated that on that longer than what I wanted to. So probably didn't start the nursery till around like maybe 23, 24, 25-ish weeks and didn't even get it finished until I was like 37, 38 weeks or something, which I don't recommend. I recommend finishing it way before that because it was just so exhausting and so hard to work on it that late in my pregnancy, especially in the third trimester. If you can get it all done in the second trimester and just sail through your third trimester, I would do that because <laughs> third trimester is no freaking joke okay oh and it says she's 
15 weeks pregnant with her rainbow baby. So definitely congrats to you on that. That is amazing. This one says, I know you work from home. When do you resume work? How are you planning to manage a newborn and working from home? Is Jared back to work at both jobs? How are you physically? You have been amazing getting content out on Instagram and shorts. I'm sure vlogging is a bit trickier than it was. Any upcoming plans? You're doing amazing. Blessings. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I don't go back to work until the middle of April, so I have a good a good another six weeks, which is very exciting, but also the first six weeks went so fast, so I'm honestly getting sad that it's already getting close again. How are you planning to manage a newborn and working from home? Hopefully, Jared will be here most of the time when I'm working. Obviously, he'll for his main job, he'll be gone two days out of the week, but that's rotating, so some days that'll be like a Saturday, Sunday, and just stuff like that. So obviously gonna try and utilize Jared as much as I can, and then just the other few hours during the day that I'm working, she'll be like in her swing, or we're gonna order like a big playpen for her. So obviously I know it's probably easier said than done. Like when I actually get to the point, it's gonna be a lot more difficult, but I can also baby wear her. It shouldn't be too bad with Jared being home most of the time. And then when he does have to go to the work in the afternoons, I can just take her for the few hours that I'm working, but we'll see. <laughs> and how am I physically? I am pretty good for the most part. Some days I still am really sore down there, but it just comes different days. Like I'll be good for like a week and then just one random day, like I'm so sore and could hardly move. It's Typically like when I am sitting stagnant on the couch for a while or like when I'm laying in bed It's hard for me to like turn over or even get out of bed and sometimes it just like hurts to walk But for the most part I'm feeling good and I'm actually getting excited to like getting back into like working out and stuff I think I'm gonna start that next week. We're gonna start slow. We're gonna jump back into you know lifting heavy right away It says been loving all your mommy vlogs question. What has been the hardest transition into becoming a first-time mom? Um, definitely the lack of sleep that you get. It's nicer than the pregnancy sleep because I just didn't sleep during pregnancy at all. But still, like, you don't get the best sleep when you sleep for like two hours and then have to get up and feed for like an hour and then sleep for two hours and then feed for an hour. But now that she's like getting a good five hour stretch in, that has been very helpful. But definitely the hardest transition has been <laughs> the lack of sleep that you get. I cherish it. I know it's not going to be this way forever and I just want to soak it all in while it is happening. This one says, how much does she weigh now? I'm pretty sure she's over nine pounds now. We went to the doctor a week and a half ago for her one month appointment and she was, they said eight pounds, 13 ounces, but when I converted it, it's eight pounds, eight ounces. So she's somewhere right around there. She looks like she's grown a lot. So I'm definitely thinking she's over nine pounds now, which is so crazy. She's getting so big already. Are you done? Do you need to burp? Here, let's get a good burp in. Let's see, another question is, any postpartum essentials you used or wish you had? Um, I'm definitely gonna be making a video on the products that I've been loving for postpartum and pregnancy and stuff like that versus the things that I wish I wouldn't have spent my money on. I have a whole list in my phone, but I just need to sit down and make the video. So that'll be coming sometime. It says, currently pregnant with my first, a sweet little boy due in July. Congrats, that's so exciting. I miss being pregnant already, honestly. Do I want to be pregnant right now and have another one on the way? No, but I do miss being pregnant and whenever God is wanting to bless us with another baby, that's that's gonna happen. So looking forward to that. Just hope it's not for a, lo a little bit. What? Let me get my hair out of your face. This one says, do you have any tips for breastfeeding? I have a baby girl due in April. Although she is my second, it will be my first time breastfeeding. Luckily, I feel like I got so blessed with her because she latched literally right away when we tried to put her on my boob and she has done amazing ever since. I know that's not everybody's journey with breastfeeding and that could be totally different for our next baby. She also hates being burped, so that's why she's a little squirmy wormy right now. Okay, okay, okay. I know, sister, but you got a burp. Yeah, you do. She's so cute. Oh, there's a burp, good girl. I would definitely say that when you're in the hospital, they offer, or they should offer like lactation specialists that come into your room and, you know, kind of go over how to, you know, be successful with breastfeeding or like, I know you can even like schedule an appointment with them. But if that's something that is important to you, like breastfeeding your kid and that's just something that's not coming easy to you, I highly recommend doing that because obviously they're there to help you. But yeah, that's all I can say. I really don't know because she's basically doing all the work for me. I just 
whip out my boob and she takes over. So she's amazing and I'm very, very blessed in that department. Goodness, big yawn. Oh, I also recommend like downloading like a breastfeeding app and like keeping a schedule. That has helped me so freaking much because trying to sit there and remember, okay, when did she eat last? And trying to figure out when her next feeding is, is so annoying. And just like timing each side, like having to keep track. I use the app called Breastfeed Timer. You do have to pay like $10, I think, but it has been so helpful. It sends you reminders when it's time for her to eat. You can log bottle feedings, you can log diaper changes, you can log a ton of stuff for sleep. Like I said, like you can time the left side, the right side, it's just amazing. And it's been so helpful so I definitely recommend downloading a breastfeeding app to help you keep track of everything because you're a new mom you can't just like remember everything off the top of your head so use the resources that we have next question says have you settled into a routine or do you just let baby girl set the way for the day um, I don't know that we have much of a routine. I think we have a we have a good night routine when it comes to like bath time and then feeding and then laying down and then she'll sleep for a little bit and then I do a little dream feed before she goes to bed for the night. So I feel like our nighttime routine is great. We don't really have a morning routine right now because just depending on how much sleep I've got the night before, we'll either sleep in or if we have an appointment or something or have somewhere to go, we'll get up, you know, earlier. But I would say we have a good solid night routine for the most part and pretty much during the day it's kind of just whatever she does but obviously once we get i get closer to going back to work i'll try and get more on a routine then but if you guys get your little babies this young on a good routine like throughout the day and morning let me know your tips down below because that would be really helpful because i really don't have any idea where to start this one says how has dad been helping make the process easier he has been an absolute dream and he makes me want to have baby number two <laughs> just because he's been so helpful around the house and stuff he literally like makes dinner for us every night which was something I did previously before pregnancy and during pregnant he literally is just like the biggest help with cleaning and laundry and just with her in general and he's so good with her and it just makes me fall in love with him even more than what I already am and I'm so thankful for him and I'm so glad that she has him as her daddy I love the body between them and I can't wait to see it grow and I know she already loves him so much too because she gives him all the smiles and she rarely gives me smiles but it's just so sweet and he's been amazing I can't say anything bad about him what the matter with you <laughs> what the matter with you let's scooch you over here you silly girl okay so uh my camera died and then the, the memory card was full so i had to go delete some clips so sorry if it's different angle different lighting all that stuff but i finished feeding her and we're back so next question is hi sister you smiling at mom huh it says congrats on baby brecklin love her name now that it's been a month plus and keeping in mind that every experience is different but knowing what you know do you think you could slash would do it all over again what's one thing you would you'd want to skip if become pregnant again absolutely without a doubt a hundred percent would guaranteed do it again um she's obviously worth anything that you know the pain that i felt during pregnancy and just uncomfortableness is that a word uncomfortableness she's worth it all i would definitely without a doubt without even thinking do it again i would do it a hundred times because I love being her mommy and I love my baby and I would love her little brother or sister huh I would just love to do it all over again god willing a few more times <laughs> what's one thing you would want to skip if you become pregnant again I would love to skip the third trimester <laughs> that was just so freaking hard you guys like it was so hard but obviously you can't do that safely so as long as it means getting a healthy baby here safely i would do a third trimester again obviously but one thing i would skip is um hi 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 um i don't know i mean there's not really anything that i did that i didn't i don't know that's a hard question like i can't really skip not sleeping during pregnancy or skip like being i mean i guess if you can i would skip the pain if that was possible but yeah i don't know what i would skip this one says how are your energy levels they're good when i get sleep sometimes i try to take a nap during the day but most of the time that doesn't happen oh i'm tired right now but we're good <laughs> are you resting when she rests no not really are you using online grocery shopping no um, I haven't since I've been pregnant. I think it's nice to like get out of the house 
you know, at least once a day. And that I've kind of used as like my form of like walking or just getting like a little bit of movement in is like going to Walmart. We go to Walmart like almost every other day. It's ridiculous. But I kind of like that. Like it just gets me moving without like going on an actual walk because it's been so windy here lately. If it's not windy, it's like colder. I'm ready for like really beautiful sunny spring days to where I can actually take her for walks. But right now we're just utilize, utilizing grocery shopping and going to Walmart as our walks. Is anyone bringing meals or helping you out? Um, no, I've had a lot of people tell me they're gonna bring me meals, but that's just not happened yet. Um, so yeah. <laughs> How has your recovery been? What have you done to help you recover? What has been the most helpful in aiding your recovery? Uh, my recovery was pretty good. Like I didn't have a bad delivery. Like I only had to get one stitch, which was very nice. The hardest part of my recovery was like probably like the first week, but especially the few days that we were in the hospital, just like standing up and sitting down was so painful but everything when we got home was pretty much good i did have to have jared build me a step stool the first night that we were home because i could not get up into our bed and then other than just using like depends and like cooling pads and stuff that's what i used for my recovery as far as like my tear and stuff down there goes but yeah everything's been really good postpartum recovery was definitely way harder than labor and delivery huh you made it pretty easy. Did you spit up? What's been the hardest thing about being a mom and the most surprising thing? The hardest thing is like just not being able to pick up and like go whenever you want or just like do whatever you want in the moment. Like you always have to like plan and prepare. Like Jared and I were gonna go to town the other day and it was like time to feed her and then she had to get changed and it just like added another 30 minutes to like the time that we could have been into town. But obviously, I'm not complaining like I love that I love our new life and I wouldn't change it for the world but to answer the question that's just been like the hardest transition it makes it better because she's pretty cute huh you're pretty cute yeah this one says not so much postpartum just wondering if you're going to get princess's ears pierced and if you do when yes I'm gonna get her ears pierced and Jared and I actually talked about this a few weeks ago and he was saying that we should wait until she wants to make the decision to have her ears pierced but it's just so much harder for a child when they're older even if they like want to get their ears pierced it's just like harder on them with having them sit still because they have to do them one at a time and getting them lined up and then if they do the first one and something goes wrong on the other on that side having to convince them to get the second one done this is a whole thing like i had conversations with my friend that has that's what happened to her um like when she wanted to get them done in the third grade but if they're just a baby it's literally just a pinch they might squeal for a minute or two and it's done so i got my ears pierced really young i'm gonna have her ears pierced really young and she's just gonna be so cute huh princess you're getting awfully noisy but when we're gonna do it young like soon but you can't do it before she gets her like round of shots at her two month appointment. So probably not till another few months when she gets it done. What does that make you sad? I'm sorry. This says, question, how do you find quality time with your husband now? I know that your first priority is your precious little one, but do you and your husband still try and find time for each other these days? And if so, how's that been? Our time together is our time with all three of us. Like I feel like our quality time hasn't been interrupted or anything because of her. Like I just feel like our relationship has grown so much better. <laughs> <laughs> because of her and it's like the best feeling i love getting to do life with him and then just adding her in it has just been so fun we go on dates still but she just comes with us yeah that's just that's the way it is um if we get any quality time like just the two of us alone it's like when she's sleeping <laughs> in bed at night and it's just us but that's been working for us and we've just added a plus one to our date nights and i'm not mad about it huh it's so fun this one says how has the couple's time changed now with an extra person to take up most of the day i've always wondered if anyone else got a little sad about the fear of our relationship changing when we have a baby um our relationship i feel like it has changed for the best i know that's not the case for everybody some people you know it makes 
their relationship harder having a baby and stuff but I just feel like we have gotten so much closer and I just love him so much more seeing him become a dad. It's just been the most fun thing to be able to experience this together. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I am very, very blessed and grateful that she has made our relationship and our bond and our marriage better. Not that it was bad before, but getting to create a life with the person that you love is just an unmatched feeling. and. I just feel so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for Jared and all he does for us and our relationship has gotten so much better because of her. What's something you didn't expect as a new first time mom that people didn't talk about that you wish you did talk about? One thing that I did not expect was, it was about like the first week-ish maybe, no longer than that, but like the first week was very, very bad. Sleeping at night, like she slept on my chest for probably the first two, three-ish weeks of her life because I was terrified to put her in a bassinet or put her anywhere else that wasn't on me. I don't know if it was like postpartum anxiety that I was experiencing or like, I don't know what. Now I'm fine, like she can sleep in her bassinet and she's good, she can sleep in her lounger in between us. What the matter? What the matter? But yeah, the first few weeks, I like don't feel like I slept at all because of that reason. I was just so nervous that something was going to happen to her in the middle of the night. I just could not let myself fall asleep for that reason and that's why she slept on my chest for that long. And that's also why she got very bad acne which I feel like is the reason that kind of made me shift from her sleeping on me and like actually allow her to sleep on the bassinet because when she would sleep on my chest we would do skin to skin and we would both sweat in the middle of the night and so when she would wake up like her face would just be so red and that's when the acne started developing and now that we're not doing skin to skin to sleep anymore her face is cleared up so I feel bad that that's what I probably caused that but I also cherished that little short period of time where that was our sleeping situation you know now I'm good like she's good to sleep in a bassinet and I enjoy you know getting to sleep peacefully by myself not a question but I love both of you and baby girl and I think she actually looks like you she is so pretty thank you that is so sweet I don't really know who she looks like I do see Jared and her sometimes but I don't really ever see me. Other than her nose, we have the same nose. I don't really think she looks like me, but I hear everybody say she looks like me. But then a lot of people say she looks like Jared too, so I don't know. She looks like Brooklyn to me. <laughs> and I think this might be like the last question. When can you start exercising? And how do you manage time now? I got cleared to start exercising last Thursday, no last Wednesday at my six week postpartum appointment. I wasn't technically six weeks, I was just at five, but that's just how it like got scheduled out. But I've been clear to start exercising again. And at the time I was having one of those days where I was like kind of sore. So I haven't started exercising yet, but I plan to maybe this next coming week. So I'm excited to get back into that. And how do we manage time? I just manage time whenever I get it, whenever she's, occupied sleeping or whenever she is in her swing or when her dad is home to help out that's when I'm able to get the most stuff done and if neither of those scenarios are happening at that time I also baby wear her and that's helpful too but yeah I think that's all the questions that I'm going to answer because my throat is kind of getting sore and I'm tired of talking I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with Miss Baby Girl and I for a little bit you want to tell them goodbye Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Let's tell him goodbye. Thanks for watching. Look how big I am now. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Oh my god, I can't. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment, do all the things. And I guess we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. You are just the cutest thing that has ever walked this planet. And I'm so obsessed with you. Yes. Yeah, I'm so obsessed with you. How did I make something so cute?